What's going on, everybody? Got my Vaseline on my lips. I got my Vaseline on my lips. I went to Walmart, got two uh, two containers of prunes, and I got some Vaseline for the chapstick for my lips. Vaseline. And I I was I googled extra virgin olive oil. So next time my brother picks up a bunch of extra virgin olive oil, it said it's good for your hair, your skin, your lips. I can use it like lotion. <laughs> I can put it on everything and get everything moisturized. But it says it's only good for like 18 to 24 months. So I got to make sure I'm using it. Make sure I'm getting it out the way before 18 to 24 months. Because that 18 to 24 months go by like it ain't nothing. And then it said once it's outdated. They said once it's outdated. Yeah, it's had a bad uh, things that it could um, uh, negative things that it could do. Not too much. No, that was a peanut oil. That was a peanut oil. They said peanut oil can uh, 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 make your skin not look as good if it goes out of date. It can uh, some type of blemishes or something on your skin. Yeah, that's peanut oil when it goes out. Pe they said I, I was reading up on peanut oil. Peanut oil is good for your lips. I think it's good for your hair. I googled it. It's good for some some different stuff. Yeah, yeah. I have to Google it again. I I really don't remember. Yeah. But we're having the pe we're having some peanuts, and we're finishing these beans that I cooked earlier. There's only a little bit left, and then I'm having a shot glass of peanuts. Yeah. So these uh, beans, when I finish this little bit of beans, then I add up the uh, they 300 calories. The bean can of beans was 300 calories. So all together, add up to 1500 calories, and I'm straight these peanuts. That's like four. That to hold about four portions. That I hold about four portions. Now that's a 1400 calories. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 1400 calories because it holds about four. No, so, no, they're 160 calories. So about like, hold up, 160, that's three. There's like 500, a little over five, uh, I mean, a little over 1500 calories. Yeah, and that's all I'm eating today. So I'm finishing these beans and I'm putting these nuts in there and then I'm Fill, filling up the rest of the way with these nuts. Yeah, these peanuts. filling Because I don't think this will fill the shot glass all the way up. There's not that many left in there. And then I'm going to go ahead and put these in there here. But we're going to finish these beans. Yes, sir. Them beans are good. And these ones ain't got nothing in them. Cooking them beans, I could have ate them without nothing in them. Well, you know, I had to make them taste even better and put honey and braises in them. Yeah. Yes, sir. And it's a little past four o'clock. It's like five or six minutes past four o'clock. Let me see. Let me look at my cup. So it's time for me. Last time I ate was at one uh, one something. Four o six. Right on the money. I was right on the money. But uh. Last time I ate was at one something, but I was supposed to eat at 12. But I had to get on my electric scooter and go to Walmart. Yeah. My electric scooter just finished charging, just finished, got done charging, yeah. And the reason I rode my electric scooter because the, the, uh, the corned beef I had earlier and the fish on the tortilla. I got one hour of walking in, so I figured I ain't got enough protein left in me to make it a Walmart and back. So I had to get on my electric scooter because I figured I would have to eat a little bit more of a little bit more meat, animal protein, just to make it to Walmart and back. And I'm like, I'm trying to lose weight by tomorrow, you know what I'm saying? So I rode my electric scooter, why they have to do no walking. Yeah. Why they have to do no walk and have to eat it, eat it, anything else? Uh, I'm gonna keep this peanut jar for like, I don't know, leftover food or something, yeah. or grease, pour grease in it, just in a can in there, and then after it fills up with grease, throw it out in the trash. You know, the cooking grease, like the pork chop grease and the bacon grease and the the uh, chicken grease that's left in the pan. Just so I don't have to pour. Well, I'm not going to pour it in the sink. 
I ain't gonna I pour it, I dump it outside, yeah. I don't pour it in the sink. I've seen a lot of people pour it in the sink over her. And I'm thinking, what what are you doing? Because I just don't feel like they don't feel like walking outside, so they're pouring in the sink. I'm like, and I'm thinking you could just leave that on the stove, and if you don't want to walk outside, I can walk that outside and dump it. You know, pouring grease in my sink. Yeah. Seen a lot of people do it. People that claim they don't do it. Claim I don't do stuff like that. No, you don't do that. You don't put grease in the sink, yeah. I I I'm sitting there looking around corners, going over there and seeing people doing it from time to time. Like I'll be they be in there cooking and I walk to the window, look out the window, and I'm glancing in the kitchen. I'll see them put a skillet, dump a skillet. And I don't know if it's water or grease. I'm like, I know it ain't water. You can't cook with water. You can't put grease with water. I mean, you can, but don't grease and water don't go together. So I'm like, I know they just pour grease in my sink. I've seen it more than once. But I try not to say nothing because you deal with dealing with a bunch of crazy people that be in your face yelling and screaming and swearing up and down. They didn't do nothing. Yeah. I got them peanuts. I got them peanuts. I left some gas. I was hoping it'd be loud, but it was a silent one. It was a silent one. Yeah. I was hoping it'd be loud so y'all could hear it. <laughs> Oh yeah, I got all my stuff packed to go to my brother's house. I got all my stuff packed. Y'all take it easy. I'll see y'all later.